Today marks one year since a gunman killed 19 children and two teachers at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. A vigil was held tonight in Uvalde to honor the lives lost. The community is still waiting for investigators to disclose the reason for the slow police response time that day when it took more than an hour to kill the 18-year-old gunman. Fox Wars Blake Hansen in studio tonight with more. Blake. As yes, Stephen Heather at events across the state today, we saw a mix of looking back and also looking to the future, a focus on remembering those lost, but also preventing another tragedy like it. So we pray that as we remember this day, we not remember the evil. Hundreds gathering for a candlelight vigil in Uvalde tonight. It was organized by Lives Robbed, an advocacy organization created by the families of the victims of the Robb Elementary shooting. Organizers asked those who could not join to light a candle in memory of the 21 children and adults who were killed on May 24, 2022. At St. Philip's Episcopal Church in Uvalde, a butterfly release marked the moment when gunfire erupted at Robb Elementary one year ago. A bell would ring 77 minutes later, marking the 77 minutes it took before law enforcement finally took action to end the massacre, but not before 19 students and two teachers would lose their lives. Senate resolutions 576 through 596 by Gutierrez in memory of our precious victims in Uvalde. On the floor of the Texas Senate, State Senator Roland Gutierrez, who represents Uvalde, introduced a resolution for each of the victims. Uzziah, or Uzi, as he was called, loved Spider-Man. That was, that, was, that was his hero, Spider-Man. And so when you see Spider-Man, think of, think of Uzziah. One by one, senators from each party shared a little about the life of each one of those lost. Althea Haven Dramidis. And I've got the honor today to uh, talk about McKenna Elrod uh, Seiler. She was just 10 years old. And Nevaeh's name is Heaven, spelled backwards. The heaven, she went too soon. The tribute to the victims stood in contrast to the at times heated and fractured debates on solutions in the wake of the shooting. Many Uvalde victims' families and supporters have traveled to Austin seeking to raise the age for buying a semi-automatic rifle from 18 to 21. The Uvalde shooter legally purchased his weapon after recently turning 18. But state Republicans have blocked that bill from further progress, electing instead to focus on school security and mental health. We are broken and we can fix a few things. At the White House, the President and First Lady echoed the calls for change. I know for a long time it's been hard to make progress, but there will come a point where our voices are so loud, our determination so clear that we can no longer be stopped. And one year later, victims and their families, still healing, say they will not be stopped. Came out here today because uh, we want to end gun violence. Teacher Arnie Reyes was shot in his arm and back during the Robb Elementary shooting. Eleven of his students were killed. Personally, I'm, I'm doing like as anybody that has lost a loved one would be. And I'm healing slowly but surely. Although the legislative session is coming to a close, the Lives Robbed organization says it will continue to advocate, including through endorsing what it calls gun sense candidates.